what's going on? Glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Been on the road with the light gun games. So might as well play another one. Today I got Wild Gunman. Now the concept of this one comes from the old electromechanical games. Maybe you've seen them, maybe you haven't. Um, I remember them when I was a little kid. We never had one at our arcade at the campground, nor did the arcade at the mall, Aladdin's Castle. They didn't have one of these. The only time you ever seen these was at like an amusement park or at the beach, something like that, because they were kind of big and took up a lot of room. And there'd be things that would flip up that you shoot with the light gun. Um, I remember there was the little, well, it wasn't little, it was the robot, sort of a mannequin with a robot head. He'd be behind like saloon doors. You put a quarter, I think it was a dollar even to play some of these games. The doors would come up and he'd talk to you and he'd say, draw, and his hand would come up and you'd have to shoot him before he shot you. So of course Nintendo adapted that concept for their zapper gun. And this game's all right. I would actually prefer to play the old electromechanical games Something about this, I don't know. Falls a little flat. It's still all right though. It's fun to play, but there's just something really cool about playing those old electromechanical games that the video game doesn't quite capture. But we're still gonna have fun with it. So let's play Wild Gunman for the NES. Let's see. We'll do one outlaw. You can see here he's gonna come out. Say draw. Bam. It shows you there up top where it says gunman. That's how long it's gonna take him to shoot at you. So you have to beat that. This one's giving me a second and a half. To me, being able to hold the gun like this, and as soon as they say it, fire, it loses a little something. Some of the old electromechanical games, the gun would be in a holster there and there'd be a lever and it would know if you drew too early you would actually have to draw and shoot at them. I guess you could get a holster and sit here and actually that might make it funner. <laughs> it would probably be a lot harder. Maybe a strut. Let's see. <laughs> yeah, it was not quite as fast, but if you actually had a holster, But nah, nobody's going to do that. You're going to sit right here and hold it right at the TV and wait for it to say fire. <laughs> Just see how far you can get. Of course it gets harder. I don't remember exactly how far you get before it. they don't give you much time. Half a second there on that one. Went back up. Oh no, I shot too early. <laughs> oh no. What was I thinking? I don't know why I thought it said fire. 
<laughs> have you ever seen the Famicom Zapper? If you have not, Google it, look it up. It looks like a revolver. It, it looks like a real gun. And they never changed theirs like we had to in the United States in 88 or 89 when they started making them put red tips on toy guns, which was a good idea, absolutely. And they changed the zapper to be red. Like that one. <laughs> But the Famicom never got changed. And it's a really cool looking zapper. Time's getting a little lower, 0.4 seconds. And it went back up. You'd think it would get less every time, but it seems to go back and forth. Maybe it depends on the each character. I don't know. <laughs> Full second. I'm going to do the draw. <laughs> Pancho Villa here. Plenty of time. <laughs> this guy. Oh, well. done my own self in there. Now let's try two outlaws. Of course this is going to be a little bit harder because you have to shoot two of them. Obviously you want to go for the one that draws in the quickest time first. <laughs> I can remember playing some of the old 
electromechanical games at Carowinds in Charlotte, North Carolina. It's about Wait, the other guy never... Huh. Anyway. Carowinds is a really cool theme park. Got a lot of great roller coasters, especially nowadays. They keep seem like they put one in a year. So if you ever get a chance to come to Charlotte, North Carolina, that's the place to go. They have uh, one of the new ones is called the Fury 325. The heel is 325 foot tall. And I swear it curves back under when it comes down. <laughs> it's one of the Super G coasters. Oh no! I shot the wrong one first. I wasn't paying attention. I was running my mouth. <laughs> I forgot it did that. That one of them would not say fire. It'd be easy to mess up there. And, and I will. <laughs> Darn. Didn't give me much time at all there. Got one more life. I guess I missed him. I think I started pulling to the left to shoot the guy shoot that guy before I ever made the first shot. And I missed him. Well, you can see what that's like there. Kind of the same thing as the first one, but with two, it is a little harder. Especially the ones that don't say fire. I can't believe I didn't shoot them. <laughs> Alright, now I like this one. This is probably my favorite one of the three. And there are not going to be any civilians that I can shoot, like in Freedom Force or, or Hogan's Alley. Because <laughs> Lord knows I would shoot them if they were. This reminds me a little bit of the one game on Hogan's Alley where it scrolls you through the buildings and they're coming out the windows and the doors. Just no civilians to shoot. But you have to shoot them pretty fast. Oh! Or they shoot you. <laughs> Unlike Hogan's Alley, these are not cardboard cutouts. These guys are going to shoot you. Wave four. And this also reminds me of the old electromechanical games where the, they would have things flip up and you would have to shoot it. And, and I think it was a type of light gun because remember there being lights on them and this little targets would flip up. Gosh, 
area. I'm running my mouth again, and I get hit. But that's all right. But yeah, those games were a lot of fun. I can remember a lot of different ones with a lot of different themes. And you go to a lot of the beaches, and in the big pavilion arcades, you'd have several different types. And at Carowinds, there was different types. And there I am again, dated. If you ever can find any of those old electromechanical games, I'm sure they're around somewhere still. Some of the retro arcades. Those are a lot of fun to play. Like I said earlier, when you, especially the one outlaw, something about the one outlaw game, you almost find yourself just like, well, Mm, okay, you know, it's just like one shot, you wait, you wait, you wait. I think that's what makes you mess up sometimes. You're just so ready for it to happen, you almost over-anticipate it, trying to get a quick time. I don't know, this, this just falls a little flat from the old school type that come before this. But yet, yeah, this is still fun. But there's no two-player on this. So of course you can pass it back and forth, see who has the highest score. Oh no, it's a good game. I'd give it a B. It's a good game. It's worth having. It. I, I want to say this one run you about twenty-five to thirty dollars though, but it is worth having, especially if you have a way to play the light gun games. So I'm glad you stopped by to hang out with me for a few minutes today. Do me a big favor and hit that subscribe button. Uh, if you've wandered across me here on YouTube somehow and you're an old school gamer like me, I sure could use the help. Uh, and I'll be back with another light gun game next time. <coughs> you ready, Mark? You ready, Murphy? <laughs> ready, bud?